Hey everyone, how's it going? Octopus here, welcome back to Union Cross. Lots of EX medals, lots of Lux farming, and that is what this entire week looks like. I'm going to talk about everything in detail, especially if you're new to the game, what you should be doing right now because anniversary is around the corner, along with the announcement of PvP coming to the game. So be careful what you're doing. But let's jump into it. Let's talk about everything, starting off with the notices, of course. Uh, zero AP is going on right now during Lux farming. So. If you guys aren't farming right now, I would definitely go for that. I forgot where they announced zero AP, but I'm pretty sure it is still going on because I just checked the quest and it says zero AP. Correct me if I'm wrong or correct me when the date is. I just forgot where they put it. So, what we got first here, Zootopia medals are back in Union Cross and I'm really excited to see this because this is the kind of things we're looking for, that content where we can farm the old medals. Even though they're not that great, it's just nice having the collection, nice seeing new medals, something to look for while playing Union Cross. This does nothing to the game, it doesn't hurt anyone, it's just collect these cool looking medals. Now anyone that bought these for, VI, uh, for jewels uh, back then, these came out, I think these were the first ones to come out. I believe they're the first ones to come out as an avatar board with the medal. I remember back then they came out with Sid, Aerith, all that. They had a bunch of them, uh, Yuffie, and we got those back, but we didn't get these ones, I believe, a second time. This might be even the third time. Correct me if I'm wrong there, guys. But we got Flash. Flash is a new medal to the game. None of us has ever, ever had Flash. We've had Nick, we've had Judy, and we've had the Judy and Nick medal, but we have not had the Flash medal. So one event medal down that's completely useless, but it's just amazing to see these medals actually come in the game, that we have a chance of getting it. It's nice. So it looks like they're kind of listening to us, which is a good thing because Union Cross just got a lot better for anyone that wants to collect medals. So that's really nice to see. It's here for about two weeks, so we got plenty of time to farm. Uh, during the two weeks, the sad part is that there's only one Magic Broom set. I don't know if there's two Magic Brooms in there, but it only says one Magic Broom set, and that usually means that there's only one Magic Broom in it. As where Magic Mirrors, there's three boards for that. Uh, you have a booster, like I said, booster shadows are going to re reverse medals, are going to get the extra boost there. These are the medals themselves, they're not attack medals, you don't have to guilt them. Just grab one copy, guilt them if you want the Nova, again, not necessary. And here's the returning avatar board. So, over here you can farm these medals, Judy, Nick, Wilds, but you can also purchase them in an avatar board. But this avatar board doesn't add anything to your game. Defense boost 1 and attack boost 1. Completely useless. It's just that you get yourself uh, Nick Wild and Judy Hops there at the 6 star medal. Everything else, honestly guys, Moogles, Dells, Chips, Louis, Huey's do. It's pretty bad of a board. There's nothing good in it. Item drop perk if you want it. You got the tail of the characters. But that's about it. The avatar boards themselves aren't that good you don't have to waste the jewels on it if you want it for cosmetics and avatar that's what you're gonna be doing this is all for just to say hey i was here and i got to do this so i appreciate this this is just extra content for us to do and it's great so union cross looks good let's jump into the next one which is deluxe solo ranking and this is where it's gonna get really hard this weekend because we're fighting for the bumblebee earring which looks <laughs> i don't know it's either the earring no, the earring looks good, but the avatar looks kind of awkward. There's something about this avatar, the hairstyle or something, that looks really awkward. I don't know, it's just how they cut off the neck, I think. They just cut off the neck right there, so it looks like a little stubble coming out of a face. Like a little... Just, just don't mind me, okay? I need sleep. Uh, deluxe ranking, you guys know what to do. Play with your party, go for the ranking, because in the rankings, guys, right now, and forever when they decide to take it away... In solo, we get gems. That's always been here, and we got some Chippendales. If you make top 5, you get some special titles. Same thing with top 100. And only top 2,000 players in each union get the gem. So, in your union, if you're top 2,000, you'll get that gem. As for party, this is where you guys should kind of really work with your party. Because if you guys make it to top 50, you will get two magic brooms here. Which, if you have five of these, that makes a Fantasia Mickey B, which is really, really good. Also, if you guys do want the earrings, only top 2,000 party gets it. So that's that notice right there, guys. And it goes in hand in hand with the Queen Bay raid event here, guys. So, during this, we're going to get a Fantasia Mickey B. And people told me that that's going to cost... 10,000 raid coins if I'm not mistaken that's what they told me in the stream I just did 10,000 raid coins to get Fantasia Mickey B so you better be doing this you better be doing uh, I'm sorry I'm sorry <laughs> uh, so it's here bonus times during the bonus time guys don't forget during bonus times every time you kill the bee it actually goes up five levels 
And if you read the notice right here, the raid boss will drop a bunch of raid coins at level 90. So work together to reap the reward. So everyone, if you're in a party, when you get the level 90, hit it, but don't kill it and let your party attack it. So everyone gets those raid coins. Because from what I heard, it takes a lot of raid coins to get that Fantasia Mickey B. But I mentioned the five levels because right here it says note during bonus time. There's a chance that your raid boss could skip past level 90. So if you're at level 85 and you kill the enemy, it's going to go to level 90, so you're safe. But if you're at level 86 and you kill level 86 Queen B and you're still in the bonus time, it's going to be level 91 and you miss out on that level 90 having all those raid coins. So be careful what you're doing, guys. Make sure that you get that level 90, you put up for your party if you want easy coins. I don't know how much a bunch is, I haven't done it yet. But that just sounds like a little bonus, so less farming if you're only going for the avatar coins. So, remember that, especially if you want to work with your party. Um, apparently, they really raised the difficulty on this. It says this time the raid boss has been made even more powerful. So, it might take a lot of coordination with your party. So, good luck, guys. But it is a Fantasia making be in there. And if you guys are not level 300 yet, you're about to become level 300 by doing this. So, that's the Queen Bee raid event. And now, let's talk about these EX medals, guys. So... These two banners right here, Shion EX on the top is just like the Sephiroth and the Roxas I believe we just had. That's the other one that's out right now. Let's go to the shop and look at this. The draw odds are the same. It's not a good draw odds for this. So all four here, Roxas, Sephiroth, and that Shion up here all have the same multiplier. I'm going to show you guys right now. Uh, right here, not that one. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you. So Shion right here, you guys can see 11.03 AOE multiplier. The only thing good is these metals were good to complement 02 point Kyrie. And I talked about this in my last video, so I'm not going to go into detail with this one. This video is going to be quick and sweet, as quick as I can be. Um, it's really here to complement your 0 point Kyrie. Besides that, if you have Kyrie X or Shion X, you don't need these metals, period. Same thing with the Re Roxas, uh, not Roxas, the Riku here. Riku only puts down four defense and four attribute defense of power it deals five hits so not a good mvp medal for high score challenges it's got a 9.52 multiplier again guys the best aoe medals in the game are 13.80 multiplier if you have a sheen or a Kyrie x these are the best guys to go for currently and they will do way more damage than any of these medals right here as long as you have those perfect buffers if you have 0 0.2 carry 0 0.2 carry plus these guys will do more damage but i would save your jewels until this anniversary, because I'm pretty sure Kyrie and Shion EX will be coming out. So save your jewels. Everybody should have 30,000 jewels by the time April uh, April comes around. When April comes, you should be near 30,000 jewels. Do not waste jewels on these banners. Um, they're all here just for collectors. If you're a collector and you wanted these medals, this is your chance. Are there going to be percentages in high score challenge? Most likely, but still not worth pulling. You only got 22 hours left on these two down here. I really want this. But it's not worth the 30,000 for me. Even the draw odds aren't that great. 0 0.6 chance just for the Sephiroth EX. It's over 1% to get one of these medals. Not that great. So you're most likely going to spend that... Uh, sorry, not 30,000. 15,000 jewels. You're most likely going to spend that 15,000 jewels. None of these here are worth 15,000 except for that Sephiroth. Because of all the boosters that are happening in the game right now. He's very powerful. But after that, the boosters are going to make these back to normal. So... Don't be tricked by the boosters. I've had people mess me on, on Discord saying it makes these medals really good. But it's kind of their way of making us spend for these medals. Because they're really powerful with boosters. But without boosters, not that great. 11 multiplier is still not that bad. But again, our best A AOE multiplier is right now 13.8. And it gets better. And then later on, even when you get a multiplier like 12 point something. If it has good debuffs like reverse and upgrade defense down. That makes up for that lost one multiplier easily, especially if you copy that metal. But again, guys, Roxas 9.52 and 11.03. If you're new to the game, multiplier means everything if you have a Shion or a Kyrie X. It means everything until we get into the new debuffs. Then, of course, this is a spoiler. This is the reason you're skipping out because medals like this and other medals are coming out. Tier 8, guys. I showed this my last video just in case you didn't watch my last video. 15.38 multiplier there, right there, and it's got the up, uh, sorry, reverse defense down. So this is like the kind of metal you want to save for. It's not going to be a mercy pull, and if it is a mercy pull, it's going to cost 45,000 uh, jewels, which is a lot. Free to play has been saving for a long time, guys. You can't see right now, but I'm at 58,000. 
If I if it's a 15 mercy pull at 3,000 a pull, that's gonna cost me 45,000. 45,000 for one metal, guys, never really worth it, especially with those prices I just clicked on. Uh, so that's pretty much everything, guys, in the uh, the update. No other content really going on. If you guys haven't done it already, there's Coliseum. Coliseum, we have about 10 more days left, 11 more days. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I missed out on Union Cross. I didn't get the donuts piece for my, my pet on my free-to-play account, but my main account did get it. Uh, we do have other events ending very soon. Boss attack, uh, time attack. I didn't finish the last, last quest. I'm missing one Mickey head for the jewels. Not a big deal. I'm not going to go spending jewels or wasting skills to do that. It's just whatever. I'm going to try it, but sorry I didn't post a video about it. Just not enough time. Uh, and of course, we still have 12 days here for that. So you guys are pretty much set. And I think that's pretty much it, guys. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the update. Let me know what you guys are going for. Are you going to be doing Lux Farming? Are you going to be pulling for any of these EX medals, which I don't recommend? Save up for that anniversary. And uh, yeah, good luck in Union Cross because Union Cross looks pretty cool. Lux Farming, good luck in that too because there's plenty of Magic Brooms and Fantasia Mickey Bees in the game now. So don't worry too much about doing that raid boss. You will get more. I'm most likely not going to do it my free-to-play account. That just sounds like way too much farming. But my main account, I'll at least attempt it. <laughs> So if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.